Traditionally, when we talk about removing backgrounds from video, we're talking about green screens. But what's cool about this app is that no matter what background you have, how busy it is or how busy it isn't, it works and it works like a charm. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to remove a video background without a green screen on an iPhone. And we'll do that right now. So what I love about this app so much is it doesn't really matter what your background is. You could have a static shot like I do on a tripod here. You could be handheld, indoors, outdoors. You could even be sitting in your car. It's through an app called CapCut. And so you have the ability to remove the background of a recorded video, which enables you to place yourself really anywhere you want to be. So let's jump over to the phone and I'll show you just how to do this. All right, so once you have installed CapCut on your iPhone or Android, you're going to want to start a new project. To do so, go ahead and click this plus icon up here and that's going to launch itself into your camera roll. Here is where you can select your media, whether it's videos, photos, graphics, etc. In this case, we're going to start by uploading our background first. So in this case, it's going to be this video clip right here of a beach background and then click on add and that's going to launch us into the CapCut editing interface. And so there's a lot to CapCut, but in this tutorial, all I'm gonna show you is how to remove the background. So now we have our video background on our timeline, and as you can see, it plays very nicely. Now this can be a video background, this can be a picture, it can be an image, a graphic, anything that you have that is media related will likely pop into here and can be used as a background. Now, the next step you want to do is you want to add a layer. Specifically, you want to add an overlay layer. So what we want to do is click down here in this menu and drag and click on the overlay button right here and then click once more on add overlay. What this is going to do is launch your camera roll once more, allowing you to pull in the video clip you want to use to remove the background. In this case, it's gonna be this clip right here and click add. Now in the video preview monitor, we can see our video on top of our beach background and our timeline, we can see our video clip underneath our beach background. Now inside CapCut, what we wanna do is click our video layer by tapping on it and then using these white handles here to trim your clip to basically the starting point to where your clip would start, where you might be starting talking. We can do a long press and drag again to drag that to the front. Now, the next step you want to do, likely if you're shooting this with your cell phone, is it will kind of flip your image. And to fix that, what we want to do is click the video layer and scroll down here over to edit. And then we're going to click over here on this mirror. And that's going to unflip the image. So now that you have that set, you can click these arrows back here. And now we're ready to click this button right down here called remove background. So when you click that, it's going to basically remove the background and depending on how long your clip is, is how long it will take to render. So once that's done, as you can see, it's now me with my background removed, me basically sitting at the beach. Now what I like to do is go ahead and fill the frame, so to speak, so you can see that the area has cut off my torso and the top of my head. So what I like to do is scale that up to fill the frame so it looks like I'm not cut off. And what you can do is use your fingers and kind of pull away to kind of fill the frame. Get these little green lines kind of out, outwardly into the wide open there. And then we can drag myself over to be something like that. And so now we can play it. And there you go. So that's the effect. It's actually pretty, pretty neat how it works. Now let me show you how to add another background. So let's click on this white plus icon. And this time let's go into my photos and let's go with this background right here and click add. And then right here we can click this beach one. We can delete that one. You can scroll to the beginning of our timeline and now you can see I'm on a new background. Now to scale the background, you can select it and then using the same method we use to scale myself, you can pinch away or zoom in. 
and then position it however you see fit. So as you can see, this could be very, very helpful. Now again, this background can be anything you want it to be. So if you're like a business owner, entrepreneur, you have a brand, a logo, you want to put a logo behind you, you can go ahead and add a new background with your logo. I mean, something as easy as this right here, you know, from going from my background to this is actually pretty professional looking and it's got your logo over your shoulder. It's pretty, pretty slick looking. So now let me show you how to do this in a vertical setting. So you're shooting vertical videos for TikTok, whatever you want. We're going to start a new project. We're going to start with our uh, background first. Let's add this Jurassic Park image. And now to edit in vertical, what you want to do is over down here is scroll and click on format. And then down here, click on 9 by 16 as the resolution. And it's going to convert itself. Now you can see that background does not fill the frame and we want it to fill the frame. So what we're going to do is, uh, is resize that image by pinching out to fill the frame. And then we can kind of drag it back in here a little bit. All right, so now we have our background positioned. Let's click on this arrow out of this menu here. And now we want to click on overlay. We want to click on add overlay. And we want to go to our videos and we want to import our vertical video. Click on add. And as you can see, that's my vertical video. Let's long press it, drag it over. And then let's click on me, fill the frame. Let's click down here on edit and flip it. Click on this back arrow here, and now we're ready to remove the background. And there we go. You can move myself around wherever it sees fit, but as you can see, that's a 9 by 16 uh, video with a removed background effect, and it looks pretty slick. Once you have tinkered with everything and you want to export this video, you're going to click on this little uh, plus icon up here. And depending on how your phone processes the remove video background, you may get a notification that pops up on screen just to confirm. And what it's now going to do is export your video to your camera roll. And that's how to remove a video background without a green screen on an iPhone. Now that cap cut has piqued your interest, you're definitely going to want to watch this video right here that walks you through all the essential features of cap cut, as well as this video right here, which tells you how to remove the background from a desktop computer with video you shot on any camera. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, helping you create videos that get results.